subtract. Find one half minus three tenths. The denominators of these fractions are not the same. They are unlike fractions. Let's find an equivalent fraction of one half where the denominator is ten. One half is equal to five tenths. We can rewrite one half minus three tenths as five tenths minus three tenths. The fractions are now like fractions, so we can subtract the numerators. Five minus three equals two, so five tenths minus three tenths equals two tenths. We can simplify two tenths by dividing the numerator and the denominator by two to give one fifth. So one half minus three tenths equals one fifth. Subtract. Find seven twenty fourths minus one sixth. The denominators of these fractions are not the same. They are unlike fractions. Let's find an equivalent fraction of one sixth where the denominator is twenty four. One sixth is equal to four twenty fourths. So seven twenty fourths minus one sixth is equal to seven twenty fourths minus four twenty fourths. The fractions are now like fractions. We can subtract the numerators. Seven minus four equals three. So seven twenty fourths minus four twenty fourths equals three twenty fourths. We can simplify three twenty fourths by dividing the numerator and the denominator by three to give one eighth. So seven twenty fourths minus one sixth equals one eighth. Subtract. Find five eighths minus one fifty sixth. Let's find an equivalent fraction of five eighths that has a denominator of fifty six. Five eighths equals thirty five fifty sixths. So five eighths minus one fifty sixth equals thirty five fifty sixths minus one fifty sixth, which equals thirty four fifty sixths. Both the numerator and the denominator are even numbers, so we can simplify this fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by two. Thirty four fifty sixths. Equals seventeen twenty eighths. So five eighths minus one fifty sixth equals seventeen twenty eighths.